Hello everyone, Hamil here with a quick run on a stock CVS. First, a quick disclaimer. So I had a request today to cover this stock, so I'll just go ahead and cover this. So as we can see, this wasn't a downtrend. It has been in a downtrend for a while, and then it has been very choppy. So we can see this as a accumulation phase here and then uh, you know it's uh, once it crosses here it can probably start another markup phase so let's look here so it had a it, it had pretty good days here so it broke through this 200 day moving average and it continued upwards then there was a report on amazon which got it slammed and then it was still supported by 21 day and now it is running up again based on the news of the vaccine approval and then uh, it just Red news that they are also going to be supplying antibodies. Uh, so they have good partnership with uh, CMS and HHS and all that. So that will continue to boost the revenues and profit margins in the near term as we enter 2021. So for the first of 2021 should be really good for CVS Health, at least on the retail side. And Aetna would still continue to be better, I would think, because voluntary surgeries would still continue to lag historical trends to some extent even though it may not lag as much as it as it has this year they, they will continue to pressure obviously on reimbursement margins and uh, and pbm side and we'll, we'll have to see what the new new government will uh, what kind of uh, policies they would implement but right now this one is looking really good it had a huge uh, high volume uh, day today uh, of 4.15 I could easily see this guy going to 82 by before the end of the year, as a matter of fact. But that's what I, I think. It obviously, it doesn't mean anything, but I, I can see it going up a little bit more and then pulling back, getting supported here by these two moving averages and then have another run before the end of the year into the new year. So I think 82 is very achievable here. Before I go there, let me just cover the weekly chart as well. So 82 would be right at this level. So once it hits that, then that should be pretty good resistance there. I can see a small pullback there. And then uh, from there it can, if it breaks through 82, then uh, obviously another 18 to 20% move is likely. And uh, that could be supported by actually the fundamentals that we can uh, see next. So sponsorship is turning around to the positive direction. So more in more funds invested in CVS in the last quarter. We can see through this uh, blue is green here. This uh, tall skyscrapers of blue with one red, and there was the one where Amazon entered the entered the market with the discount cards uh, for their prime customers. So it's not really in a base. So it needs to create a base at some point. And then relative strength is just moving in the right direction, as you can see right there. It's moving in this direction. That's what we want to see. Now coming back here, so 10% growth rate on an average, earning stability of three, which is really good. Anything under 10 is good. So this year is 5% growth, so still less than the EPS growth over the course of last five years. And then uh, going into 2021, it is 2%. So again, it will take some time for CVS to return back to a little better growth. So I had made a note here, 2022, they have much better numbers here. So 8% EPS growth based on projections and 5% rev growth. It may not sound like a lot, but a company of this size, it is much better than what is delivering right now. The only concern is where is the rev growth going to come from as it moves forward. It is too big. So to grow for, for a company this big to grow, it is a little difficult. And then uh, obviously one way is to do acquisitions. I'm not sure what more they can acquire, but time will tell. Good dividend, 2.8% here. So that's good. That's uh, looking promising there as well. Let's, uh, as I always do, let's see what analysts are thinking. So upside of 14.85% on an average. So like I said, 82 is feasible. So that looks okay. And then $101 uh, is the high side, which if it breaks 82, you can probably add on another 18 to 20% over the course of months. So yeah, it looks realistic here. Earnings, 
as we can uh, as we saw 2021 so this is when it really starts getting better when it hits eight and then uh, further going further if it can continue to grow revenue and earnings in my opinion that would really help the stock and the shareholders and then revenue growth i i don't want to look any further than uh year here so this is what i calculated my estimates from so that is all i have just thought i will uh give it a quick cover because i had a request on this i hope everyone is doing well take care